What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. This video shouldn't be that long, but there was something I just uh, I just thought I'd put out there. There's a misconception out in the trucking community that if someone has a low overhead, in other words, maybe your your lifestyle is it does. Your lifestyle doesn't cost as much as somebody that has a higher overhead. Let's say you you got equipment that's paid off, or something of that nature, something like that. There's a misconception out there that because let's just say your equipment is paid off, or half of your equipment, or whatever your equipment is paid off, that you you're part of the problem for taking cheap freight because you are able to run cheaper rather than somebody rather you are able to run cheaper compared to somebody that has a high overhead in theory yes that is true people with lower overhead are able to run cheaper as opposed to somebody with a higher overhead well that's that's simple brother man we, we know that here's the kicker though people with low overhead they have low overhead for a reason. So they can still charge the same money. You follow me? They can still charge the same money as someone with high overhead and take that profit all the way to the bank. <laughs> for instance, right? Now, people see me. People get when, you know, okay, he has an old truck. I'm sure the brokers look at, okay, they look at the, my certification, my uh, insurance certification. And has my equipment listed on there. He's like, oh, man, this guy got a 1990 truck, man. And look, he only got an insure for that much. Shoot, oh man, this guy's gonna run cheap for us, man. We got one. Then they call me or I call them or whatever, and we negotiate. We, we talk about get the details of the load, and I throw them my price. They're like, oh, um, well, I, I thought we were gonna run a little bit less. No, 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 we ain't. No, we ain't. Here's the here's the the thinking behind that. I busted my tail to pay off my equipment. So when I'm negotiating freight rates with you, why should I give you my equity that I work for? You follow me? I'll say that again. Why should I give you the equity that I work for, why should I give it to you? Does that make sense? So let's say uh, I got a paid off truck, right? Trail I'm still making payments on. As soon as I get that thing paid off, we we are profit all the way to the bank or under the mattress or in the pond or wherever, wherever I decide to put that, that revenue, that profit money. But that's a misconception in trucking that because someone has paid off equipment that they're supposed to discount their services. No, 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 no. We got paid off equipment for a reason, and that's to get more money back in our pocket. We make the money, but also we, as HT Logistics, go check him out. It's not how much you make, it's how much you take. So even though you're grossing all these astronomical numbers, some people, you know, grossing all these astronomical numbers, are you really taking all that astronomical numbers back with you? Or are you giving it to somebody else? See, when you, if you have a low overhead, okay, you don't need to make a whole bunch of money to profit the same amount of money as someone with a high overhead. Do you get what I'm saying? You can actually make less money. I didn't say run less. Well, not take cheaper freight but you can run less and take home the same amount that the person with high overhead that got to go and, and run 3,000, 4,000 miles a week as opposed to someone running, I don't know, I'll just say less than that. And that is, people don't seem to get that concept right there. I know it's getting dark, you probably can't see me, but some people can't seem to get that concept. Um, and HT Logistics said it the best. I'll just give him his props, you know? It's not how much you make, it's how much you take. And if you have a lower overhead, you still charge the same 
as someone with a higher overhead and you just take all that money to the bank or put it in other investments or do whatever you want with it. Um, so hopefully that video makes sense and uh, we'll see you on the next one.